News contributor, editor-in-chief of CampusReform.org, Fox Nation host. He joins us right now. Good morning. From Good morning. Texas. Hey, Good morning. Uh, Lawrence, what do you make of uh, Congress grappling with reparations? Well, you know, quite frankly, when I went to watch the hearing, it was kind of frustrating because, as you would imagine, no party wants to take responsibility for not what just happened when it comes to slavery, but what happened after slavery during Reconstruction. And so you had a lot of the Republicans saying, hey, the Democrats are responsible for this, uh, which is true in some sense, but there was also no accountability for what happened after slavery during Reconstruction, where many black people were Republicans, in fact, and then there was also some Republicans Republicans, the lily white Republicans that tried to put, push black people out of the Republican Party. And so there's a stain when it comes to both parties as it relates to slavery as well as Reconstruction era civil rights movement, but neither side wants to take responsibility. Now as it relates to reparations, um, of course I disagree with it, I don't like it, I think it's a bad proposal for many of reasons, but there also has to be response to the Democrats' recent occurrence of wanting to have reparations. And what would that response be? Now, I've advocated for Republicans to talk about financial literacy, to talk about building businesses in the black community, um, reforming the education system. But what you have right now is essentially the Democrats trying to paint the Republicans as not mm -hmm. caring. I think the message to make us care is to say, this is our response. We care about you. We just don't believe that the government should have to pay back, especially people paying for the sins of their grandfathers. Lawrence, yeah. if this is such a great idea, I wonder why Barack Obama, the nation's first African-American president, and Joe Biden, by the way, now running for president, of course, who was vice president for eight years. Why, for eight years, they never implemented reparations or called for them? Well, I know President Obama Lawrence and Hillary Clinton, they said that they were not in support of this because of the astronomical costs involved. And when I was thinking mm -hmm. about this this morning, I'm like, how, how would we pay for that? I mean, everyone recognizes the horrors of slavery. How would our country be able to pay, pay for it? Yeah, th that's a great question. I, I don't think we would be able to pay for it. But what has happened now is uh, there is a grassroots effort to get this done within the Democratic Party. These are the the local grassroots people putting pressure on on the elected officials to get it done. So uh, again, it, this is not party leadership that's going to be able to pass. Now, of course, the presidential candidates are going to all be for this because there is a progressive wing that is pushing for this. So of course, they're going to say we're going to get this done. Will it actually pass legislation-wide? Uh, I don't think so. Um, they don't have the votes to get something like this done. Uh, I, I was reading this morning in the New York Post, they, they cited a Marist poll from 2016, Lawrence, and uh, they said 68% of the country said they should not pay cash reparations. But when you broke it down by race, 8 in 10 white Americans said they were opposed to reparations. 6 in 10 black Americans said they were in favor of reparations.